Good morning. Day one, here we go. Here we are, first day of 12K training. This past summer, I've been having some issues with my foot and ankle post Camino and travel. And so I've just been mending it for the last couple months, making sure it's okay. And then of course, uh, this past uh, week, actually the day of the Dodgers celebration parade, I tripped on a pothole and deeply bruised the side of my foot. A bit of a challenge to get through, but I've done it. So now I'm just slowly getting back into it. So with that, I have decided to go for a smaller sized race. And it just so happens there's a 12K coming up in a couple months. So I figured, we'll just start with that. It's gonna be fun, so stay tuned. become a little cooler now uh, that a fall is in full effect definitely in the mornings and the evenings you could definitely feel it sweater weather is in effect in regards to what my nutrition is currently at the moment I'm sort of on a low carb mix of things the past couple months, I've been trying to figure out certain foods have not been agreeing with my body as they used to. So I've had to switch up some things, how I'm feeling, you know, why it's making me feel sick or not feel good and certain things. I mean, I'll still eat like, you know, a slice of pizza here and there. It's not like I'm restricting myself completely. Like, I still love food. Love food. I've been eating a lot of protein, which is um, great. Even protein shakes or just focusing on like you know, eggs, um, certain meats and chickens and fish. Um, definitely a lot of veggies to kind of mix it up because there's only so much protein I can take at one time. But um, not as much bread as I love bread. I could eat bread all day. But, I mean, I'm not completely carb-free. There's going to be carbs no matter what. And a lot of the things that I eat, like a pretzel. But, um, you know, just a little bit more mindful in regards to what I eat. Trying to stay off my feet for the rest of the night. I did put my little foot brace on, so just to help it. It is getting colder, so I may have to bust out some long sleeves for my runs. But I think we should be okay with just the gloves for now. We'll gauge it when we come to the morning. So, all right, I'll see you all tomorrow morning. It is Wednesday, November 13th. It's actually nice and slightly warm this morning. Got a late start, so not too bad. We got two and a half to do today, so let's go. Hills. 
I still don't like hills. <laughs> So I don't think I fully explained which race I'm actually running. It is in the first week of January and it's called the Resolutions Run that takes place in Griffith Park. Now I did their 5k race a couple years ago which is, was you know their inaugural race. So I figured why not do the 12k race because I've never really done a 12k race before. <laughs> I've done half marathons, 5ks, 10ks, marathons. So I think this would be perfect to uh, kind of ease in back into the training season, so to speak. My training block as it is is about eight weeks. It is similar to how I usually have done my previous races here and there, so definitely gonna take you on that journey. Um, I am looking forward to it. The weather is starting to get colder. I mean, so far we have like beautiful 70 degree weather here, so can't complain. Today's cross training is a little hike. Haven't been up here in a few weeks, so why not? Being a bit more cautious where I step, because uh, with hiking trails, there's a lot of rocks. And we know what happened last time when I stepped on a rock. Happy Friday! Whew. Got some clouds <laughs> overhead. Not sure it's gonna rain, but we'll keep an eye on it. <laughs> Good morning. It is Saturday. <laughs> I felt so comfortable in bed this morning because it's so cold right now and the morning's here. <sighs> Late start, but we're gonna get it done. We're going to do four miles, I believe, today, so... Okay.
Heidi. Our first long run Saturday, we went for four miles, a little over four, a point three six further. Um, felt pretty good. We had some good sunshine this morning and it was a bit windy. If you want to do check out my LA Marathon race from this year, I'll put the link up in the corner as well as in the description so you can check that out as well as you know my training from that if you do want to rewatch some of the old stuff the training now is going to be a little bit similar to what i did prior um except you know minor adjustments here and there you know especially with coming back from injury and whatnot so yeah it's gonna be fun <music> So we'll call it here for week one. It's been all right so far for the start of this training block, this mini training block, to really think about it. And I'm feeling good. Looking forward to week two and slowly increasing the mileage as we go along. And um, yeah, we'll just go from there. Um, I'm in a slightly different location for this following week and you'll be seeing more of a, this guy right down here. So stay tuned. Want to see more of my training runs as well as my other adventures? Do like and subscribe to the channel because I do have more coming up so you do not want to miss out on any of it. I hope you're all doing well. Let me know in the comments. I'll see you all next time. Take care. <laughs>